Hey everyone, it's me, Cynthia. Welcome back to Inspiro. Today I want to talk about some sustainable brands, sustainability-minded brands that I support, that I've been following on Instagram, that I think deserve support. As you guys know, I posted that Brands I No Longer Support video a few weeks ago. Since then, I've shared this whole checklist of what I look for when it comes to assessing a brand's sustainability, making sure that they're not greenwashing, making sure that they support BLM and that they're diverse and support inclusion. I think it's so important to support brands that deserve it, that are doing good, that are committed to good change because as consumers, I think we vote with our dollars. Before I get into the actual brands, I just have to say again that the most sustainable options are the ones that we already own, the ones that are already in our wardrobes. So it's so important that before you go out and you buy from any brand to know and be conscious of what's actually in our wardrobes. I think a lot of the time when we go out to shop or we're in the mood to shop, it's pretty it's like emotional or we just want newness where when we are aware of what we have and we're aware of the gaps in our wardrobes we can actually invest in pieces that we'll love but also that will help bring our wardrobes to the next level and like fulfill a need and the other thing is i always try to thrift or swap or upcycle before i go out and buy new i think that's just one of the ways that i lessen my impact thrifting is again more affordable i know it's time consuming but i try to just thrift things before I go out and I buy new things. I also want to say that sustainability and sustainable fashion is a privilege, not just in terms of the standard body size, but also money, time, resources. I've talked about this before too. I don't want to get into it too much in this video, um, but I think it's important to preface every conversation that we have about sustainable options and alternatives and sustainable fashion with how it is a privileged conversation. And last thing I want to say is that this video isn't meant to make you feel like you have to go out and buy something new or buy from these brands. This is about exposure and awareness and showing that these are alternatives uh, out there when you do want to buy anything new or anything in these categories. A lot of the brands I'm sharing today are also black owned or women of color owned or people of color owned. And it would be amazing if you even follow them on Instagram and liked their their photos. I think that's just a free way of supporting a brand that's trying to do well and a lot of them aren't big brands. I'm gonna first start off with shoes. Shoes have honestly been one of the toughest categories for me to find sustainable options that are cute, which is why I'm so excited that I have three brands that I wanted to share today. The first one is called Thousandfell. They make these fully recyclable sneakers out of the most extensive list of responsibly sourced materials I've ever seen, where they use biodegradable materials, upcycled materials from other like industries, like from food waste. And uh, what else did I say? Biodegradable, upcycled, and recycled. And their whole brand is focused on closing the loop on sneakers. So when you're done with your sneakers, you um, can send them back to Thousandfell. They'll take them back and they'll either, they have a recycling facility where they'll break down the sneakers to compost and or recycle reuse materials or if the shoes aren't that damaged they'll donate them to someone in need and i think that's amazing so here are the sneakers um they are a clean white minimal sneaker i'm not being sponsored or paid to say any of this um i just haven't ever had like an all white sneaker because i couldn't find one that was sustainable or sustainably minded anyway i'm still testing them out i just wanted to mention them here because i know that this is such a classic staple for anyone so man common projects kids Veja, they're all shaking. And then the next shoe brand is called Brave Souls. I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram, you know I wear them so often. These are the Linda sandals and I've been wearing these all summer. I think they'll be a staple in the fall too. They're just so easy to slip on. They're super comfortable. Brave Souls is a Canadian woman owned company and they're based I think half in Canada, half in the Dominican Republic. Their whole thing is that they support artisans in the Dominican Dominican Republic. They use upcycled tires for their soles, and then the leathers in their sandals are sourced locally in the Dominican Republic. From a price point too, these sandals I think are like $65 Canadian. So I just wanted to shout them out quickly. They're one of the most comfortable sandals I've ever owned. I don't really get blisters from them. And then the last shoe brand I wanted to share is Brother Valleys. I am obsessed. One of you actually told me about this brand in the comment section of a video like a few weeks or a few months ago and I was like oh my god how did I not know that they existed they are a black woman-owned company and they are a higher price point I'd say they're more designer level but she makes the 
cutest and bold shoes. I also love her options for nude heeled shoes where nude just means anything that's your skin skin color. I don't want to rant about this fully here but before like when you walk into an Aldo or something and you're like I need a nude shoe for a wedding and they give you like pink shoes and I'm like girl do you see my skin tone? Does this look pink to you? I don't own anything from her yet just because I wasn't just gonna go buy new things that I didn't need but when I'm in the mood or want a new shoe or when i need to replace a shoe i'll probably save some money and try to buy from her you know that i love my jewelry my earrings my piercings my rings i wear the same things every single day and i'm allergic to a lot of metal so i invest in uh, fine jewelry like gold jewelry the brands are called amarillo and then the sister company is hey tea chai i'm pretty sure and they do the most gorgeous earrings and necklaces and like rings i discovered the founder her username is akis because she has a samoyed and i love samoyeds and um just through everything that's happened over the past few months too it was really amazing to see her posting about black lives matter and like even the protests in la and all that stuff where I think it's so important when you're deciding to support a brand. I try to find the founders and follow them to make sure that I'm supporting a company that also has good leadership because I feel like those two are synonymous. I think that's what we learned from the whole Pangaea thing. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I think she's so cool. So I'm like, hey, like I want my money to go to a cool person. Um, and that's the other thing where a lot of these brands are smaller and this by far is not an extensive list where I highly recommend just going out and researching Google like small BIPOC owned sustainable brand and I'm pretty sure some will come up. I'm gonna leave lists below too. Ugh, I've been eyeing them for forever. I don't need new jewelry right now and, and I also don't have the money to buy like fine jewelry right now um, but it's really good to know for when I want to invest in more pieces. So for activewear brands I've been loving, you know that I love Girlfriend Collective and Organic Basics. I did a whole review video of both of them talking about my sustainable activewear. Uh, where Girlfriend I love more for my intense workouts and then Organic Basics is my go-to for yoga and like more loungy activewear. Um, so I'll leave that video linked here for you. I go in depth like my entire checklist for both of them and I talk more about that there. So if you're interested, highly recommend checking that out. Um, but yeah, this is my girlfriend's set. I love it. It's just like more compressive and thicker um, and it's a really cute color. And then I also have my Organic Basics one here. Uh, both of them are made out of recycled nylon, recycled polyester, which is like plastic bottles, fish nets. And I think that's amazing because they're reusing fiber that would otherwise end up in landfills. My reminder is to use a washing bag like a guppy uh, to prevent the microfibers from shedding into the water supply. Now onto clothing. I just want to quickly mention I'm going to update all this on my website. I'm going to have a list of brands that I like that I support for different categories like what I'm doing in this video. So first clothing brand I want to mention is actually an online site where they curate a bunch of brands and rate them based on different standards and they're called New classics or shop new classics they're alberta based so they're in canada and they're run by Alyssa, who's this amazing asian creator and i love her i love what she's doing um but i love that they're based in alberta because you don't have to pay for duties and it's all in canadian and for them they make it a lot easier especially if you're newer to shopping and more sustainably minded and conscious brands because they actually have standards on each of the pages and they'll show you which standards um the pieces adhere to whether it's like artisanally made ethically made and as you guys know i got my base range joggers or bass range joggers from them organic cotton base range is i think a european brand these are made in spain in small batches made ethically i love them i've been looking for a pair of loungy joggers for so long and the fit's just amazing i wear these so much and i'm not sure if you can see behind me but I also got that abaca bag which is something that I wear to like farmers markets and it's my summer bag all the time and that one is like hand woven and it's a traditional craft in the Philippines made out of a banana root and all these things are things that she highlights in the description of these products too so you really get a lot of information about each of the pieces which is something that I love. Next clothing brand I want to talk about is Bellantoni Designs, which is Canadian based. They're based in Vancouver, owned by Bianca. And I met Bianca at a 
uh, the AWARE conference like four or five years ago now where she was still studying at Ryerson and I think it's amazing when you know them. I know how much she cares about finding responsible fabrics, about making sure she's working ethically with seamstresses and like those who cut her like patterns and stuff where for a really long time she was doing everything herself, designing, sewing, shipping and all of that where now I think she works with some seamstresses um, and I think it's just amazing. Please check her out. I'm sure you've seen these pants. These are my favorite hemp pants. They're high-waisted and they're a organic undyed material. Um, and they're from Bell and Tony, and I think it's so amazing where even her labels are, I think, dyed with like plant-based dyes, and I think there's just so much care to her being conscious and the most sustainable with every single piece that goes into making an actual piece like this. So hope you check her out. The next brand is an undergarments brand. They're based in Toronto, Canada, and it's called Marie Young, where my friend actually ordered from them a while ago um, and was preaching about it. So I finally caved. I've been wanting more uh, basic pieces and undergarments, and I just wanted two basic black pieces, where the first one is a crop top, um, and I don't own a crop top. They're also really hard to thrift because I think they're usually just really worn down or like not the right fit. Um, but yeah, I ordered the this crop, it's their Wallace crop, and I actually like wearing it backwards more than forwards. I just wanted something easy that I could wear all year round, um, and they're just super soft. I think they also make small batches ethically in Toronto. The other reason that I wanted to order was because I've been looking for a block bodysuit for so long, and I don't know, it's just like finding the right cut and the right fit and one that wasn't super expensive. I just wanted one that went straight across. And this one has mesh like on the back, which I thought was really cute. Um, and this was on pre-order. So I actually ordered these pieces like two months ago and they finally came. So really excited about it. But this is the Nalini. Do you see the tag still on it? Because I just got it last week. Um, but I've been waiting for these pieces for so long. These next two brands I haven't bought from yet, but they're on my list. I follow them on Instagram. I followed for a while now and you know that when I shop, I try to buy thrifted first too, but when I can't find things like a black crop, then I'll end up buying from a brand. So a lot of these are on my radar and I really want to support them and buy from them when I need or want something new. Um, and the first one is called Wear Proclaim, where they do a diverse and an inclusive range of undergarments. Their bralettes look so comfy and they're made out of a tensile, um, so I highly recommend checking them out. She did a uh, restock a few days ago too where it's just like bralettes and undies and they look so comfortable and I love that they have such diverse color ranges um, and I think it's BIPOC. I think it's a woman of color owned. I think she's Asian. The next one is actually a vintage shop on Instagram. I love the stuff that she curates. It's called Elia Vintage or Elia Vintage. It's a black woman who owns and runs it. I think that her aesthetic is so nice where usually I don't follow a lot of vintage accounts because I'm like, I can just thrift and find things on my own, but hers, I'm just like, damn, like this stuff is so nice. The next one is Cold Laundry, which is another black owned business. And they also use a lot of organic cottons and uh, organic fabrics. I think I started following them last winter because I'm obsessed <laughs> with their puffer jackets. I think I've watched a YouTuber, like a menswear YouTube video, um, and he was wearing one of their puffer jackets, but um, yeah, their Instagram page is just so well like directed with the colors and with everything. So I highly recommend checking them out. I also love that they're almost genderless. So it's like unisex where you be a guy, girl, or non-gendered and you can wear their uh, pieces. Next brand I want to share is called Come Back as a Flower, also black owned. They use recycled cottons and I think it's re recycled dyes or something. If you're looking for like minimal tie dye, I really love their brand and I think they also use clean energy. So highly recommend checking them out. And then the next brand is called Shop Wear and they are another size inclusive brand. I think they use mostly recycled plastics for fabric and maybe some tensile, but I really love their colors. They do sets, they do like bodysuits and stuff. And I just thought this is another like size inclusive brand that actually is in my style. So because I'm trying to prioritize that more too, they're like on the top of my list for if I ever need something, 
I will filter through and try to support that way. Next brand is Backbeat or Backbeat Co. And this one's another like loungy, I think they're like Californian based, so like that loungy vibe. And they're owned by Isadora, who's the coolest person ever. She is another woman of color. They have a lot of like tie dyes too. I really love their dresses and like some of their more jumpsuit pieces because they just look so comfortable. Um, they use responsible fabrics and I really loved, they have this video where she shows one of the factories that she works with. Um, all of their factories are vetted by her personally and they're all ethical, they're all paid like ethically too, where I know that's a big thing with Made in LA. There are a lot of factories in LA where people are paid by piecemeal and not minimum wage or they still work in sweatshop like conditions. So I think that's something to be mindful of that made in LA doesn't mean ethically made. And then last brand I wanted to share is Two Days Off, which is another woman of color owned brand. I love their stuff because they have a lot of linens and I like how it's really simple and like classic shapes. And then you also have like, I think waistbands or straps that you can tie to like add shapes to their dresses and their jumpsuits and all of that. They're made to order in LA too, which I love because that prevents more waste. Last category is skincare and hair care. And I wanna start off with Briogeo. They're a black owned, I think hair care line. They're available at Sephora and stuff. I initially got their conditioning mask and their shampoo uh, samples for my like Sephora birthday package. And I really love the conditioning mask, um, but they're vegan, cruelty free too. and. I really just love that, I don't know, like I never used to buy conditioning masks because I, I just do like shampoo and conditioner. But when I got this, I was like, okay, I might as well use it since it's a sample. Um, but it's really helped my hair feel nourished, especially at the bottoms where um, this has been dyed like multiple times. And the last brand I wanted to share is Biosance. This is, none of this is sponsored either, where I bought this stuff with my own money. Um, I was looking for a clean skincare brand and then I got samples of this I think six months ago so then I started trying out the samples for the last few months and I finally bought full sizes where I really love their gel moisturizer and I really love their eye gel. I also have their squalene and rose oil which I just ran out of so I need to buy more of but it's been really nice for my skin. You know that I struggle with my skin and my complexion too um, so it's been really nice to just find things that have been working to not break me out and to let my skin be free. But yeah, with Biosan specifically. So I started testing other products, what, six months ago? And then all of the Black Lives Matter like protest stuff happened too, where they were one of the first brands that I saw pull up for change and post like actual good, genuine content and like them trying to do better, you know what I mean? So they posted that they were going to hire more and they committed to hiring like more black leadership and more black people and their entire like teams um so i'll leave like i'm pretty sure i spoke to that in one of my videos already but that's just something that i look out for now where it's like how have they committed was it just posting a black square have i seen enough to feel like they're actually trying where if you're new here like i'm not trying to cancel anybody i think it's just about pushing people and brands to do better because it's more about changing and being open to that versus one, either not believing in it, which boggles my mind, or two, being super performative where I really don't want to fall for a performative brand. That's something that I don't want to support. And that's, I think, why I try to do so much research. This felt like it became a very long video. So thank you so much for watching. If you're at the end of this video with me, please leave a like if you enjoyed. And let me know down below if you also have favorite brands that are sustainable, size inclusive, ethical, all of that good stuff. I'm also going to update my website. So I'll leave that link below, inspiro.com. I'm going to have a running list of brands that I think deserve our support in these categories. And I wanna go more in depth into why I support them from the fabrics to the uh, labor to how they produce and all that. So like all the things that I say to look for in my guide, I wanna actually talk more about that for each of these brands because trust me, I think about all of those things all the time and I think that you should too, you know, I think everyone should because again, we're voting with our dollars. If you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, please do, it's at Inspiro. I hope that this shared some brands that you might not have known in the beginning. Please share more that I might not know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Bye everyone.